nice for it. Hello guys, welcome to another beautiful sunny day here on another farm. My name is Efo Mohine. Um, if today is your first time on this channel, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, share this video, like and give us a comment. We'll be glad to respond to your comment. I'm sure if you are a regular viewer of this channel, you know this is the best place for your agricultural information. Any information you need to make an informed decision before you go into any kind of animal farming, be it pig farming, poultry, fish farming, snail farming, this is the right channel for you. So thank you for sticking to the channel. Today, we are at Bechile. Bechile is on the Ashaman Afienya Road in um, Tema, around Tema. And we are at a farm of um, a very young man who has also decided to contribute to um, the agricultural industry in Ghana. And if you have seen the edifice that is behind me, this is your most ultra modern snail greenhouse. And I'm going to take you through everything. I mean, there has been new innovations. I mean, we've done a lot of snail greenhouses watching our channel but you will see that this is an improvement on all of the greenhouses that we have done so far so right off before even we enter you see that now we don't use uv paper to do the base of the greenhouse at first we used to use green um uv paper to use to do the base of the greenhouse what we realize is that with time the uv paper begins to tear off or wear off and then you see holes inside the UV paper. So now we use blocks to lay the base of the greenhouse. So before you enter, you have your 2000 liter water storage tank. So now we are not also using um, the gravity to ensure that the irrigation system flows. At first we used to do that. And if not, if not I mean discarded that um, engineering altogether. But you see, when we go to a site that has electricity, there's a better way to do it. Now, so now, we have our electric pump, a 1.5 horsepower electric pump that pumps water into the um, greenhouse and uh, making the irrigation system work as effectively as possible. And I'm going to show you in a minute how it operates. So let's enter. So you enter your greenhouse and you see we have created a walkway. We have created a walkway right to the end of the greenhouse. So that is to tell you that the popular notion that when you do a greenhouse, you don't have to enter and there's no, I mean, you don't have to be frequenting the place. No, we want to disabuse that um, information or we want to correct that information. Now we have created a pathway or a walkway in the greenhouse to ensure that as much as possible, you come into the greenhouse and do some work. Some work in the sense that you, be need, you, you need to be tra trimming some of the plants. You need to be ensuring that the snails are safe. You need to be ensuring that there are no pests. You need to be ensuring that all the irrigation system is working perfectly. So all these are things that will require that you enter the greenhouse. And so if you don't create a pathway and every time you enter, you are walking anyhow, you are stepping on snail eggs, you are stepping on unhatched eggs and uh, it's a lot of damage to your greenhouse. So now you have uh, um, a pathway that has been created. Again, you see that every side of the block work inside the greenhouse is covered with polythene paper. So this is done throughout the greenhouse every part of it is covered now that also has its significance we have done this also with the knowledge that we've acquired throughout um, i mean working or doing greenhouse because we, we realize that with time if the snails stay in the block work for a long time they begin to eat the block work they begin to eat the blocks especially if it is not a very strong i mean uh, formed block so now we use paper, this uh, polythene paper to a uh, polythene bag 
to cover all the walls of the greenhouse so that the snails cannot get access to eat the blocks again this collecting bag also ensure that ensure that the snails do not crawl on the shade nets that we've used to cover the greenhouse because um you see that sometimes the snails will crawl up and then when you come they are hanging on the shade net if they don't if you don't take it then they fall off the shade net they break their shell and then it causes death and mortality so that also prevents them from um crawling up the greenhouse and as you can see we have grown our crops we have our cocoa yam we've grown our cocoa yam we've grown our dwarf plantain we have some dwarf banana here we've gro grown some cassava we have our creeping plants that is the sweet potatoes we have grown it and what is exciting is that in this greenhouse we are going to grow fresh vegetables more fresher vegetables like cabbage lettuce cucumber now the reason why we are doing this is that we know that i mean these are plants that we need to be um these are crops that we need to be planted every now and then but it also ensures that it makes feed readily available in the greenhouse because when you have a 2000 capacity greenhouse like this one that we are inside and you can see this is a very huge greenhouse the size is 15 feet by 45 feet 15 feet by 45 feet so it's a huge greenhouse now if you have 2000 snails in here the crops that you grow here will not be enough for them throughout their stay or the period that you have them here or before they mature so there's always the need to provide supplementary feed now if you grow these fresh vegetables like fresh cucumber cabbage lettuce and those things immediately you enter the greenhouse you get the awareness to feed the snails with some of the um, fruits of those um, vegetables and how where do you feed them so readily you have your feed platforms this never used to be part of our previous greenhouses but i told you there's been several innovations that we are doing now so now we have your feed platforms you have your walk pathways you have your new vegetables that you are growing inside you have your um polythene covering every side so there has been a lot of improvement in the greenhouses that we do now so we have feed platforms strategically positioned snails are very smart animals so if they sense that this is where you put their feed that is where they will go to eat every time so we have our platforms there you can come inside if you have purple in here you want to feed them with some of the purple you just take the purple put it on the platform if you bring in watermelon you want to feed them watermelon put it on the platform and it will ensure that they eat well they grow well they reproduce they hatch a lot of um, lay a lot of eggs you hatch a lot of eggs and you have a very productive and commercial greenhouse look the snail business in ghana is exploding i would not say it's exploding really because what you do with snails or what snails do is that every snail in a year is laying eggs approximately about three times in the year at every laying season each snail can lay between 200 to 300 eggs and that is the achatina achatina the aa the african giant snail that's what we are talking about and that is the snails that we normally do in ghana if you go to nigeria they do a lot of the ams if you go to the French-speaking countries, Cote d'Ivoire, Togo, they also do a lot of the AFs. So know where you are and then the uh, market that you have to produce for. So in Ghana, we do a lot of the AAs. The AAs can lay between 200, 300 eggs. And so if we put 2,000 snails in here, 
you can be assured that there's going to be an explosion of snails in this greenhouse that is if you tend to them very well now after the period of 12 months if you harvest the snails those who are readily available don't forget not all of them will grow to the same size at the same time so some will grow faster than others so those that will grow faster and you want to harvest them in that uh, 12 month period that is a lot of snail in my next video we are going to do what i call snail mathematics we are going to calculate how many snails you put in a, a greenhouse how many snails that you expect the average selling price of a snail and then you will see that this is a business that you cannot fail at because definitely this greenhouse is going to be here 10 years if it is well maintained over 10 years this greenhouse is here the snails that you put inside it is a one-time stocking so if we stock 2,000 snails in here after 12 months we are not going to stock any snails again because even if we harvest those we are going to harvest we will still leave some parents stock in here and then they, will, they are going to reproduce then we sell then the rest are going to reproduce then we sell so the snail business is something that everybody should pay a particular attention to very very well because i mean selling snails the market is available it doesn't require a lot of hard labor to maintain the greenhouse but contrary to popular belief that oh snail farming you don't need a lot of money these greenhouses they cost they are not cheap honestly i should tell you that but it is one of the best investment that you can make if you are entering into the agri sector because it's a one-time investment that you make that's going to keep giving you i mean the rate of return is going to keep coming keep coming keep coming and then you are never going to lose when you make this investment so um this is a form tv um i'm happy i mean people are beginning to catch on to the idea that look whoever you are wherever you are it is a great opportunity to enter into farming now in ghana and in other parts of africa because there is a lot of market i mean we have millions of people in every part of africa they have to eat we have to feed them and we need the youth to enter into a grid so we can feed the teeming population i mean our population is exploding and there's no better way to feed them than entry into a grid ourselves now this young farmer that i talked about i mean um this is his first major project and i mean i'm sure he's happy with what we have done here again on this site he has um, a catfish farm that we set up for him a 2000 capacity catfish farm that is doing very very well we'll show you that one too and he plans to expand the business add on more add on more and that is what i preach you start small you add on you build it you make it bigger and that's going to ensure that you have definitely another source of capital that we all need in this country in this economy right now you need another source of capital and then i preach to you or i want to inform you that farming is one of the surest way of getting that other source of capital so we have planted our crops we are going to wait for about four weeks to eight weeks if they grow we have our creeping plants in here we have our shadow plants in here and so when they grow we are going to stock our snails and see them grow to harvest time and each part of the way a foam tv a foam honey we are going to be part of um, the development process of this farm we are going to provide technical support we are going to provide training we are going to train the people who are going to take care of this greenhouse and we are going to be on hand at every call to make sure that this farm becomes a success just like all our other farms so um, thank you very much for watching our videos we are always excited to bring you new projects new ideas that we are talking uh, we are doing on the farms we are going to show you our irrigation system our new irrigation system with the electric pumps that's amazing so we hope to see you again on another farm if today is your first time don't forget to click on the subscribe button share this video and then if you have any questions or comments i put my number on the video you can give me a call Give me a WhatsApp message and then I'll respond to you. See you again another time. Bye-bye.